Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. The biggest names in music. Oh wow. Big names, big songs, big guests, big prizes. Hell, it's a big show. Oh, 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 okay. The big show. Put your hands together for the one and only Glenn, Angel, FD, and Sean. That's what I'm talking about. 1FM 91.3. Good times, the greatest hits. Good morning, Singapore, and welcome to the best breakfast show in Singapore, The Big Show with Glenn Angel, FD, and Sean. And today being a Tuesday, we have the one and only, the beautiful Dr. Geraldine Tan from The Therapy Room. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Morning. And I've got a story to tell. But anyways, I just found out this morning that FD and, and Angel are working from home oh. all this time. Uh, no, yeah, bosses don't want that. anyone to know, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> the way you expose us, <laughs> right, Dr. Yeah, Jerry? I know. Exposed. 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 Oh, no. In line, in line with, you know, what the, the government is, you know, encouraging how yeah. the workplace works from home. That's true. Good, good save, good save. Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. Backpedaling for sure. <laughs> And, and 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 we all have different uh, you know backgrounds, and so it's it's hard for people to tell. Like yes, you know now everyone knows that Sean and FD are in the studio, and uh, Angel and myself are working from home. Yes. That's right. You can tell from the b- virtual backdrop. That's my, right. And I'm not us. I'm not practicing social distancing by the way because my <laughs> gals are so close to me. Yeah. They're just <laughs> behind me. You know, that ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, for those of you who are watching us on the Big Show TV. I'm pointing. This is Lisa. <laughs> this is Jisoo. This is Jenny. Oh, and Jenny this is Rose. Way. Give it up, everyone, for Blackpink. <laughs> In your area. <laughs> Have you, if you're wondering what Glenn is on about, just watch us on the Big Show TV on Facebook on 1FM91.3's page. <laughs> and you know what? Speaking of Blackpink, you never know. They might mm-hmm. end up on our greatest hits of all time countdown. Ooh, I don't know. That is true. Speaking that of which, true. we are going to be playing very, very soon song 403 on the countdown. But right now, we focus on Dr. Geraldine Tan. Jerry, uh, what are we doing this morning? We are going to talk about endemic here. We're going to live with COVID and we've just introduced how we've lived with COVID. Half our workplace is not in the workplace, but at home. <laughs> That's right. And I'm welcoming you from my home. Oh, so oh, I to ask you. Yeah. 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 You're, you're in your living different. room. Yes, that's why I said I've got a story to tell. And I don't know why my life is so dramatic. <laughs> Being the people psychologist, I ride the wave, each wave, somehow or other with every single one. So this show is really for every everyone out there today. Oh. Okay, I'm at home because last week I was exposed to a family who were COVID positive. Oh, Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So it was so... uh, uh, I'm not dramatic. Actually, my team was really amazing. You know, and I think this is how we we live with the whole endemic or live with it endemically, right? Mm. Um, And immediately, you know, uh, because we only knew it the next day, at the end of the day, And uh, the the it was children that were tested positive before the parents were tested positive. Oh, hmm. oh but the okay. entire family was with me. Okay, it, it, it's not the entire family, but the kid had to come with the parents, right? Mm-hmm. right yeah. mm-hmm. So the the family was in the room with me for a solid hour. Oh, <laughs> wow. we were all masked. Um, and we were like, okay, so what should we do? So immediately, those of us who were close contact, because half of us weren't in the office anyways. Mm. So the half that was mm. had to be had to do the right thing by self-isolating. Mm. Yes, yes. But oh boy, 
you know, the, the, the worries that went through our heads. We were worried about our elderly parents. Mm, yeah. I was worried about my little girl who's not vaccinated. Mm. So I don't know how many more parents, mm. you know, were worried, you yeah. know, or are worried at this point. We've, hear, we've, we've heard many parents said, oh, I'm worried about my child who's not vaccinated. It mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah because when they don't have the vaccination you know um how 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 would they uh manage how would their bodies manage the mm. the, the illness right mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah 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 okay let's continue to talk to jerry uh, live on the big show tv while we continue with 1fm 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown <laughs> we're into the 400s as i mentioned earlier on this is song 403 this is abba Fernando on 1FM 91.3 Can you hear the bells, <laughs> Fernando? Uh, Jerry, out of curiosity, yeah, so um, y did you get an SMS or were you told by the family? What happened? Just just very briefly, yes, so what was the process? We were, uh, we were informed by the family that, uh, so they very, very kindly told us the next day. Mm -hmm. Right after they they uh, had their PCR um, testing done, the results in, mm. and our, uh, we were all informed, as in the family informed us, the parents informed us. So that's why we took that decision to then say, okay, let's self isolate. Let's do the right thing. Let's do mm -hmm. the socially responsible, you know, uh, step. And how long are you self isolating for? Ah, so that was the interesting thing. We we thought we would do the 10 days, you know, and test 357. Mm. Uh -huh. And on Sunday, I got the health risk warning. That's why I say my oh. life is so exciting. Oh, wow. what was the warning for? That same exposure? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So the health risk warning uh, came on Sunday only for me. Because close contacts, uh, the definition of close contact is uh, more than 15 minutes, mm. less than 2 meters. Oh, oh right. Okay, right. Okay. And how many days after was it from when you met them that you got the health risk warning? Uh, you met was, them on what day? It was the 5th day already. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. It, yeah. it, does, it does take some time. But how Jerry, would they yes. know though? Sorry, FD. How would they because know uh, how, how far apart uh, you were from, from these infected people? Ah, uh, so I would recommend everyone to keep their Bluetooth on. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Bluetooth on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it was probably in the background. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tokens and our our apps mm -hmm, that were mm -hmm. exchanging information, I suppose. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. So because just... of all the people in your office, it was only you, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank goodness. Sorry, hey, girls, move back a little bit, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I felt uh, Jenny touching me. Can you just, can you just me. explain very briefly what's your home isolation like? Uh, as in my experience, or what the health risk warning was? No, your experience at home now. How are you? How how is the home isolation? That's the What's whole idea I wanted to share with everyone. I think it um it it the isolation itself is okay. I don't have to stay in the room or mm. anything like that because it's a voluntary self isolation, right? Mm. Uh, but I think what really got to me, and if work wasn't around, and if I didn't have this to look forward to, you know, I, it would have been much, much worse. Um, I think it was the worry. It was the worry, the, the immense worry for all the team members mm. who were worried about their family. Mm. Um, my heart goes out to the family and thank goodness the, the, the kids are much, much better now. Mm. <laughs> I'm so worried now. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. were the kids under 12 or above? Under 12. They were under, under 12, 12 as well. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was really worried for, for the little kids. Mm. Uh, uh, right now, they are fine. Okay. It, it's the adults that have now uh, are in recovery. So mm. they are also on home recovery uh, program. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. so the worry is, is, is just eating, you know, me mm. up during the self-isolation. Mm. And does the rest of your family have to stay home as well? 
Uh, no. So oh. all of us did ART every day. Okay. And as long so the new measures, right? As long as you test ART negative, you know, you can go out. So they they would go out, but we limit to only essentials. Yeah. Uh, I chose to stay at home just because uh, that's the other thing because I was so worried. And usually when I'm worried, my throat goes. Uh. So I was having a horrible scratchy throat. Mm. And then I was like, oh no, is it? So it plays on yeah. your mind, yeah. right? Yeah. And you start feeling, oh, maybe I'm feeling a little bit of that lethargy, <laughs> the malaise. I can't know? smell, I can't taste anymore. No, 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 no. <laughs> I took very strong foods. So there were the curries. <laughs> 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 Just to tantalize the taste buds and go, mm. see, I still can taste and I still can smell. Yeah, mm. no, that's mm. great. That's great. How you okay, still look so fantastic, I, I have no idea. If I were you, I'd be like freaking out. You know? and, yeah. like, and, 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 and I'll be so frustrated and all that because there was a one occasion where I had to go for a uh, you know PCR test mm. because I was at Ion. Remember that whole um, mm. you know Ion yeah. shut down for a few days and all that? And I was cursing and swearing, man. I'm like, of <laughs> all days, I had to go down and do my hair. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and how long you got to be home? for yeah no so it's really uh, um, a you. voluntary mm. thing because okay. i'm negative but i was really very very worried about you know that the throat and wondering whether it would develop into something mm. but safe to say that i i was just stressed it won't and then okay. you, yeah. you think, see, again, think, think positive be positive yeah. <laughs> but again you see this exactly. is it you you had a covid positive person in the same room with you for an hour this mm. is the importance of wearing your masks and wearing them properly. Mm. Yes. Mm. You yes. know, it is such an important message you, that you Yeah, got. because, I mean, you say more than 15 minutes, people are on the trains in close yeah. uh, proximity to other people for more than 15 minutes. Uh, a lot of the time, travel from one end of Singapore to the other. So, yeah. FD is right, you know, put at least put your mask on properly. And wear it properly. Mm. Yes. Have to wear so it all properly. of us were masked, including the little boy. And mm. yeah, and, and yeah, we were all fine. Yeah, good. that's good. That's, that's good. good. <laughs> I was about to say, I mean, you've been very busy because over the weekend it was uh, World Mental Health Day. And I think, uh, you know, me, you made an appearance on a few other shows as well. Mm. So you've mm. been really busy, Jerry. Uh, and I was very, very grateful because when I decided to do the self-voluntary uh, isolation, um, I thought I had to forego the, uh, the the little talk, the panel discussion mm. on Saturday with uh, Minister Desmond and mm. Uh, mm. Uh, the People's Association. Mm. But but that's the amazing thing how we've lived with it, right? Virtual. There was a backup plan, and they said. Don't worry about yeah. it. We'll just zoom you in. Yeah. Just come online. Here's the link, you know, with everyone else. Mm. We'll pin you. And yeah. I was like, oh, wow. This is amazing. This is how we're going to live with it. And we learn how to be flexible. Mm. Mm. Back in the day, it was like, no, it can't go on. I mean, we'll, we'll find a replacement, you know. It's impossible exactly. if you don't turn up. Yeah, Exactly. I was pleasantly surprised. And I was more, you know, intrigued by how flexible, you know, the pandemic has taught us to be. Mm. You know, never say no. Nothing is impossible. Let's try and let's see what works. And yeah. it, I had a beautiful afternoon. Say awesome. yes first, figure it out later. Okay, we're going back on air, okay? Hold on. Stand by. Paul Abdul, song 402. That's 402 on the uh, countdown. We're counting down the greatest hits of all time. Uh, moving towards number one, which will be revealed this coming Friday. And, uh, you know, if you're following us on Instagram, you would have seen Dr. Jerry as well. You know, telling us about her favorite song by <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. And, and she's hoping that that song will be number one on the countdown. Well, let me just tell you, Jerry, I, I don't think it will. <laughs> <laughs> What's the title of the song again? Sorry? What's the title of the Kelly Clarkson song? That, Peace that, uh, by P. Peace, Peace by, by Peace. Peace. I, I don't think I've even heard of it. Song yeah. number 914. 
<laughs> just outside the condo. Just outside. Just outside. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? We should play that song uh, yeah, one of these song. days. Just to, yeah. you know, maybe tomorrow we'll 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 just play a sample of that song. Because I I don't think many people have heard that song. I but haven't heard it. It yeah, must be very parties. meaningful for Jerry to single it out I can find it. as her uh, you know favorite song and 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 her guess for the number one song mm. uh, this year. No, listen to it. It's it's uh, it's got a. A bit of sweet story behind it, but yeah. I think during this endemic, uh, yeah, this pandemic endemic, it is building ourselves piece by piece back mm. together. Again. Ah, see, mm. I told you there must be yeah. a, a you know backstory to it, and that's mm. the reason yes. why Jerry chose it. Anyway, that was a yeah. uh, song four hundred and two on the countdown. Paula Abdul, uh, Rush Rush. Uh, and a reminder once again for you guys to go to 1FM.SG to vote uh, for your number one song. All right, Guess the number one song contest and we have prizes worth a total of $1,700 uh, to be won. Okay, mm. back uh, with Dr. Geraldine Tan from the therapy yes. room right now. Yes. Jerry is uh, staying at home because uh, she was exposed to a few people who tested positive and uh, we've been chatting with her on the yes. Big Show TV about her experience uh, at home. But you're doing well, Jerry. It is, it is. And I'm really glad, with, uh, you know, uh, for all the people, my team, uh, and the clients because we had to convert many of them onto Zoom. Mm. And yeah, yeah, they were very understanding. Some chose to postpone their appointments. Others chose to come online and we had sessions. So later on, I'll still have sessions. So I'm still working from home. It's not that I'm not working right. from home. Yeah, but the, the clients have been very, very forgiving. And I want to give a huge shout out to Jack. Jacqueline, she owns Jack Bakes, and I asked her, does she mind sending a food package to a whole family who has COVID? Aww. And she says, no worries, no problem, I'm going to send it, when do you need it? Yeah. So the food package will be sent uh, this week to send some love and care to the family. That's lovely, nice. that's Very really, nice. really Jack nice. Bakes, how do you spell that? Jack as in J-A-Q or what? J A Q J A Q Bakes B A K E Okay. Very nice. nice. Very nice. You know, Jerry, earlier this morning you were saying how parents are so worried about their children with COVID nineteen. Yep. And yet when the VTLs were announced, <laughs> so many parents came out and went, Oh, now I can't travel because my kids can't travel with me. <laughs> my under twelves can't travel with me. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I didn't understand that. I think everybody is just reacting. So we have a lot of people during this period of time feeling a bit angsty, a bit, you know, tension filled mm. and mm. they react before they actually think. Mm. But many of these parents, after they have sat down, calmed down, you know, um, they would understand that measures would be rolled out first. And mm. then, you know, with feedback, there will be tweaks happening, which mm. has happened. Which has happened now, because yes. now the under-12s can travel. Right. So yes. it was a knee-jerk yes. reaction yeah. that, that they had. Yeah, so mm. most of us tend to react. And I, was react just, I was very surprised when parents said that. I mean... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, they, I think they are just so tired. They are just so tired mm. of everything that is going on. Yeah. So I would say, everyone just take two steps back. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Just help all of us. Chill. We, we are with Dr. Geraldine Tan from the therapy room. Uh, we continue to talk to Jerry on the Big Show TV. But right now, let's continue with 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. The Queen of Pop, Madonna, is at 401. This is Vogue. Good morning. Strike the pose. I have that song if you want, Dr. Jerry. Piece by piece. Piece by piece. <laughs> yeah, let, let's, yeah, but we can only we play, play like a little play five seconds. seconds yeah. Five seconds, yeah. Piece by piece. Okay, that's all you need okay, to know. Yeah, right? Okay, yeah, okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> if not, sounds like that, yeah. Facebook will cancel us. But great, <laughs> great track, great track. Yes, <laughs> it sounds quite good, actually. Uh, yeah. I think everyone that wants, they can go and Google it. <laughs> yeah, they can. Later when we go on air, uh -huh. you know, maybe we can play a little bit of it. The, it'll be the same Facebook, mom. yeah. We can do it after nine. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Because yeah. we are on Facebook as well. I keep mm -hmm. on forgetting. It's very tricky, you know. Yes. Because the moment we true. play more than seven seconds of the song, they'll shut they'll, us down. They'll shut us down, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah, for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Quite why. Attitude. That's why last week they were shut down. Karma, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, they were shut down for quite a while, and then that, that chap, uh, Mark, what's his face, uh, lost six Zuck billion book. dollars. Right there, you go. The Zuck. Yeah. Uh, the Zuck. The Zucks. Come, 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 chameleon. So, Doctor Jerry, you are currently yes. under HRW, is it? Yes, health risk health warning. Risk. Well, so what's it? There's, there's HRW, there's HRA, there's LOA, there's QO. No, so now they, they only give QO and um, health risk warning, HR. No more HRA? Health I, risk assessment uh, or something? Health risk something alert, else? Alert. Alert. That means yeah. okay. you are in the vicinity for about 24 hours, but you're not close enough. Oh, okay. So that's just an it's alert. A just check. Exposure. Yeah. Oh, so that was the alert yeah. that used to be on our trace together. That little red yes. thing, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes. Yes. this one, your this warning. Close contact. Close contact. Okay. Close, For more than contact. fifteen minutes. But but they will give you um the they will encourage you to self isolate for ten days. But if you test uh ART negative, you are able to go out. Mm. So, so no PCR tests. No need PCR okay. tests. So mm. we are moving towards endemic and mm. I think it is much, much healthier. But it yeah. doesn't mean that the worries are not there. So therefore, I wanted to highlight to everyone, it doesn't mean that it's negative. You are exempted or immune from worrying. Your worries will still be there. Mm. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes, and I have, hmm. you know, oh, oh, it was such a silly thing because Sean told me this morning, I sent a package over to okay. the radio station. Yesterday and... afternoon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Taking a time. Sean, Sean said this morning, oh, I can't get it. The, yeah, the parcel, parcel room yeah, is not yeah. open. Not it's open yet. O- not open Ooh. until nine a.m. I'm yeah. like, oh my god! <laughs> and then, and then, and then, um, it, I found out that both of you were like at home. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we're not. La, la, okay, la, 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 la. okay. okay. <laughs> but but you did heard... get one to Julian, I believe. Yes. 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 yes, there you go. So cute. I got it. No, Wait, yes. cookie. Fortune cookies. Fortune cookies. Jillian, Jillian, yep. you, you and I are the only ones that have it today. Oh. The, re- the rest of them is stuck in the parcel room. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. So we are the fortunate ones to have the fortune. I don't cookie. have two, Angel. I've got, I've got like five. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, so you can open one for each of us <laughs> yeah. then. How about yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, like that is true. That is true. Yeah. But these honest cookies um, is, is by SOS, Samaritans of mm-hmm. Singapore. Mm. And uh, lovely partners that I work with, and they have come up with a little fortune cookie that has a slip of paper inside that encourages us to have honest conversations. Oh, nice! Wow. Love that. Oh. You didn't tell me that. You told me it was you want to send us cookies. <laughs> so I thought, oh, to eat, I don't mean, pick up cookie. anytime. Yeah. Yeah. How she didn't tell me it was a fortune cookie. She wanted they to surprise cookies. us. Uh, see. They are see. fortune cookies with a slip of paper inside. Fortune yeah. cookies are real life cookies, John. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for us to eat, so never mind. <laughs> I can you, pick they up are for you to eat. You can still eat them. Yeah. They're yummy. No, I love get them but today. before we awesome. launch into this fortune cookie, mm. you know, I'm going to teach us five things to do. Is it five things? Yes, I think it's yeah, five, okay. four things, four things to four do. Things. Um, five, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> She's lost her. This is a little this bit. This is of a, what happens when you isolate, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> but later, when you when you go on air, you know, please mention this again. So you see, this is a little run through right now. So <laughs> so when you're on air later, okay. it'll be perfect. Okay. Can I will say five. I will not forget five or four. Five, five, five. <laughs> five. Okay, five. Okay, to have an honest conversation, I have five little tips. One, put away all devices. Oh. We've got our devices away. We cannot already. Second, look at the person. I want you to look, but not stare. No, Sean, oh, don't sorry. stare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking into your eyes. <laughs> You will see what you mean to me. <laughs> yes, the third thing is to listen. And then you feel, not use your hands to feel, okay? Use your heart <laughs> to feel. <laughs> this is what happens when you work with a bunch of boys. Yeah. Yes, must be, it must be specific, you know. Yeah. And then the fifth thing is to respond. 
and we respond by um a, you know an action a movement like you know nodding our heads mm, mm. or a sound like what fd did mm, mm. Mm. you've already lost glenn he's not even paying attention <laughs> <laughs> he's doing number one I'm, I'm i'm dealing with a few people at the same time but don't worry i'm still i'm still listening i'm multitasking here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> i am i am i am he is <laughs> the multitasker a- I am angel multitasker. is like the principal yes you know? she's a class one <laughs> What were the five steps, Glenn? The first step. <laughs> She's going to be repeating what? that when we go on radio, you see, later. She's trying to help. That's why. <laughs> uh, okay. Love it, love it. Love sorry, it. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm putting like a few things together because tomorrow we're yeah. going to have another doctor on the show tomorrow, yeah. uh, Dr. Ashok uh, Karup, just to, to touch on the COVID situation again. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm, 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 right. Infectious diseases. Sorry, yeah. I'm just getting a few uh, messages coming in. <laughs> You know, you know what's quite. We're not having an honest conversation here. No, <laughs> oh. I will when we go on the radio. Oh, <laughs> you know, Jerry, it's very interesting. Your first point, right? Put your devices away. It was so funny. The other day, I was at my daughter's house, uh, and and we go over there because we do mass on 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 TV, right? Um, and uh, we we done mass, we done dinner, and whatever. And I reached for my phone. And she turned to me and she said, "We're talking, Dad." <laughs> oh, wow. and sudden, oh wow! No, and suddenly, I realized that exactly as you were saying, I wasn't listening to what was going on around mm. me. I wasn't feeling what was happening. To me, dinner was over. Auto pilot. for the phone. Mm. Autopilot. And mm. she just went. You know, we're talking that it's just, it just put means it away for a while. She's not interesting <laughs> enough, lah. <laughs> no, I There's don't think nothing it was that. happening in the world that has changed since we started dinner. No one needs you. <laughs> no <laughs> one's looking well. for you. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Well but quite well. interesting that yeah. putting the device yeah. away there. Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys yeah. are so patient with your kids, boy. I'm like, oh, I brought you guys into this world. Just I can there. do whatever I want. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I, 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 if not, you guys will starve. Right? No, but I can't. I can't. I can't do that because I've from from a very young age. I've I've taught them to express themselves. Yes, yeah. If they've got which something big to say, say it. I've also taught them at the times you will say this and you will antagonize people. You will anger people. You will hurt people. But you need to say. What you need to say tactfully, tactfully, yeah, yeah. exactly, as tactfully, tactfully as you can. Okay, yeah. the next thing you need to say is traffic first. Tactfully, right? if not, I'll <laughs> punch you. Do okay. your traffic tactfully. And, and it can so, come, okay, here we come go. back to this. Come back to this. Stand by. Ninety-one point three traffic. So here is traffic done tactfully. There's not very much happening on the roads in Singapore. There's only one area that's fallen to pieces, and that's <laughs> Southbridge Road towards Spring Street. There are roadworks after Sego Lane. We're very sorry about that, but we do need to fix the road. Please drive carefully today. We apologize. People are watching us. Uh, know exactly what FD was talking about, but uh, people are listening to us on the radio. Have no idea what he was referring to, and uh, we don't have time to explain. So uh, right now, let's uh, get back to uh, Dr. Geraldine Tan from the therapy room. Jerry, you've got some cookies, fortune cookies from the Samaritans of Singapore. Tell yes, us a little bit more. Yes. Um, so it is. Uh, fortune cookies inside and they want us to they want to encourage us to speak to each other and have honest conversations so i have five points that we can follow the first point is put away all devices second look at the person look don't stare listen to the person feel feel with your heart not with your hands (laughs) And respond, respond by, you know, a sound or an action like nodding your head or just going, mm, uh, okay, mm. or just silence, no movement, no talk, just your presence. Yes, and with that, Julian can help us open one of it. <laughs> Julian Ko is Very on the show, people. everybody, yeah. uh, Ko editor of here. SG Karmat. Mm-hmm. He's joined us early uh, at the request of uh, Dr. Geraldine Tan. I'm just here to have cookies, man. 
<laughs> These are opening fortune up cookies. And Julian, you'll be opening them on our behalf because we are tasking you today to be the fortune sure. cookie teller. Sure. Or the sure. fortune teller cookie or something like that. Oh. No, don't eat first. No, it's really it tastes good. good first. <laughs> Yes. We trust him to open it. He eats it. Oh, okay, so right. what does the first piece break of paper it, say? It. Oh, a bit higher. He's Show us in the camera. Hold it higher, yeah. <laughs> so we can see. No, he oh, okay. Yeah, um, it's oh, it's really cool. It's got like three different languages. <laughs> uh, very three, pick the one you can read. Yeah. <laughs> Have you at any point in time felt like a burden? Oh wow. Yeah. Look at how different wow. these fortune cookies are. I mean, uh, Jerry mentioned it on the Big Show TV earlier on. Uh, mm. These are, are not fortune, fortune cookies, but uh, mm. they encourage you to, to talk about things, mm. right? I yeah. think the cookie is called the honest cookie, right? Not the fortune cookie. There you go, ah, the honest yeah. cookie. The honest cookie. Okay. Okay. That's a great take on, on uh, traditional fortune That's cookie. That's a really, really good uh, conversation starter, I have to say. Have you at yeah. any point in uh, life felt like a burden? Mm. That it is. Yeah. Good yeah. for your next dinner party. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Julian is asking everyone. Everyone is trying to think how to answer. So these are questions that um, hit right to the heart. And mm. you really have to look within mm. and put your devices away. Look, listen, feel, and then respond. Mm. Wow. Right. Okay. Never. Yeah. I've never felt like a burden. <laughs> he didn't think about that really yeah. <laughs> honestly i tell you what uh, the, the red cards come up when we come mm. back i'll answer that question all right right um, now let's continue with one fm 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown who's at number 399 the red hot chili peppers Ooh. here's californication on the big show all right happy all great yours. track yep Okay, so so Julian opened up the on, and he's now eating the honest cookie. Yep. And, and what what was the conversation starter, Julian? Have you at any point in time felt like a burden? You know, on, without thinking, I would say no. I think even after my heart attack, I wasn't really a burden because I could handle myself. But as Jerry said, stop, think, and then respond. Mm. I'll tell you when I was a burden. When I was in school. Okay. I was a burden to my parents because now I can reflect and say I never really put in the effort that I should have. And that must have been incredibly worrying for them. Therefore, me being a burden. Okay. But then we all have to feel that way then. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. And now I feel no, terrible. I, 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 this, Thanks. This, 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 this is just how I feel. This is yeah, just how but I, feel. I think I think all kids at some point in time feel like they're a burden at that time because not, not everyone... I never thought it at that, that time. At that mm. time, no? No, I never thought it at that time. Mm. I'm thinking it now. Now. At 65, I'm thinking it now. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. like if you don't want to be a burden, and at this point of our lives, if you don't want to be a burden, then be better, live yes. better, right? Because I mean, mm. if you end up like ill or whatever, and oh, and you start thinking back, yes. like, hey, you know what, I brought this upon myself, yes. then it's mm. like you are a burden to the family. Mm. If it's something that 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 I mean, if you've taken care of yourself and all, that, and something does happen, then you can still say to yourself, I've done. You know, True. all that mm. I can. But if you're in a position right now that, that's not good for the entire family and you've brought it upon yourself, then yes. True. But like you, you don't mm. care about yourself then. You and also I mean? build up build up your, your bank account to be financially stable so that if something does happen, you don't you're not a financial burden on anyone else, right? Whether mm. you become ill or, you know, lose a job or whatever it is, that's important as well, right? Yeah. I think the importance of, you know, the the questions and that conversation is not our opinion about the answer. So we're not to judge the answer because everyone is entitled to how they feel. Mm. So FD mm. is definitely entitled to how you feel mm. about the question. 
and mm. what your answer is. Mm. So it's important for us to listen without judgment. I think that is something mm. that you know um, all the practitioners would like to encourage for a mentally healthy society to listen without prejudice, listen without judgment. Yeah, but Jerry, can't we honestly then say, but that is an incredibly difficult thing to do. So we practice, yeah. we practice and we practice and we get there like with any skill, mm. any mm. skill, practice makes perfect. Because judgment is almost an immediate reaction that everyone has, right? Whether there you say it or not. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So like a knee-jerk reaction to the policies and the measures mm. being rolled out, you know, a knee-jerk reaction to many things that come into our spaces. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But the, the question is powerful. The answer is even more powerful because it is so much more important to the person that we need to appreciate the words that the person gives us any mm. words yeah. that the person gives us yeah but some what is people, your some people give you like whiny answers <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what i mean what does your honest cookie say uh jerry i haven't opened it so i shall <laughs> open mine because and julian you can eat some more of the julian's cookies. got four more to open i there know man wow do i have enough it time looks like that? Yeah. so nice yeah. yes it looks, looks like, like that looks like my mouth got <laughs> <laughs> That's his yeah. honest cookie. <laughs> that's Trust that's being really honest. I'll show you guys my mouth got Wait, one no, these it's days. Okay, we don't want to know. Okay. So no, we when it, you break it, it's like that. Mm -hmm. And oh, I feel like I'm doing an unboxing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing well. You're doing well. Yeah. Uh, okay. You and can then be you just pull it out. Yeah. And how come yours only has three languages? Mine has four languages, Julian. Oh, oh, may maybe I saw it wrongly. I don't know. <laughs> maybe <laughs> the, ther the therapist glasses. has four languages. <laughs> yeah. Regular people have three. Yours, yours is the premium <laughs> version. On a scale of one to ten, how are you coping now? Oh. Uh, hmm. What a strange easy. question. It's I like, know. you know, <laughs> made for me or something like, oh, uh, <laughs> how am I coping now? How are you coping now? <laughs> it's made for you, Jerry. How are you coping? Let me guess, what? Jerry. Seven. On a scale of one to ten, you're on a Let seven. Let you guess. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, you know what? I'm... He's... He's trying to speak for me. Unsolicited. Right? But Dr. So Jerry, I mean, so many people, so you ask so many people how they're doing. How are you doing today? There you go. She's Thank you for asking. She spent the first um, 20 minutes talking about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did, I did. I spent the first 20 minutes talking about it and sharing my experience. But your emotions. For the, for the initial uh, first two days, so the day that I found out my hands and feet were cold. Mm. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I was right at the bottom, you know, there. Not quite at the bottom, you know, but at a 3. But mm. today I'm feeling really good. We oh, okay. Raring to go, I think it's because of all of you. I'm oh. like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Anytime you need a smile, just jump I on know. in. No, but we're all a good time. I mean, I'm sure Julian, Julian, kind of like to be part of this. There I'm you very go. Happy to be part of this. <laughs> and yes, amazing. Yes, and we're so you. happy to be with you guys as well. I know I am. Yep. yep. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, Jerry. We're very happy. So today, today it is you know close to an uh, eight or nine. Yeah. Oh, great. That's oh, great. That is awesome. But, but That's yesterday awesome. was a seven. Uh, I mean, I, I want to be right. Yesterday was a seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll let you speak for me. Okay? <laughs> right? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, when we speak, you know, I love the, the fact that all of you are responding to me. I love the fact that you are listening to what I was saying, even though it was 20 minutes ago. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> no, no problem. No, now he's not listening. <laughs> I'm saying no problem. <laughs> <laughs> if I love these cookies, man, these cookies rock. Yeah, yeah. they're really good. Yep, and uh, all of you have. Uh, I think you have to find some way to get it to Angel. For sure, and for yeah. sure. Yeah, no, but easy everyone. enough. Where Do can... we have time to open one more cookie from uh, Julian? But just where, one more, just where can, to see where what can it says. people? Yeah, please yeah. go ahead and open it. Where can people buy these cookies? I think these cookies are great. Yeah, they are. So you have to go to the website. Um, you can go to the SOS website, and then uh, I think they have a link there. Okay. Yeah. Um. You, a bit lao hua, so you know the back is quite small. I cannot see the address. Oh. Oh, it's small. Okay, mine it's says, small. 
What's the one thing you found challenging lately? Ooh. Oh, right. that's a good okay. question. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Mm. Wow, um, so much to say. This one we that, don't have to I, ask Jerry again because we know. No, 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 don't yeah. ask me. <laughs> <laughs> FD got a lot to say, is it? FD got a lot I to say. It, Okay, I don't but... know, I think recently, I think recently, I found it very challenging for my daughter to actually like me. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of feels that way. I just had a conversation with my wife. I was just telling her, you know what? It's it's really tough, man. It's just it's just tough tough times, man. It's just like. It's so funny because your kid is so, your daughter is so young. You know, this, this, I tell you, this means one thing that he is going to have a fantastic relationship with his daughter yes. when she grows yes. up. True. Yes. Because crossed, crossed, man. How yeah. old is she again? Two, uh, she's two, uh, she's coming three. See? Oh, she's fine. She's, yeah. she's, don't you're, worry about you're it. working it out right so now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, you're working all the kinks out. Yeah. She hates me. Trust me. No, she, she doesn't. She's going to be you. daddy's girl. Trust me. Yes. Uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. One I don't minute. know. Yeah. I had to bribe her with McDonald's yesterday morning before school. You're not the only parent who's bribed a child. Oh, we've all done it. Yeah, you're not <laughs> the only parent. Then, even then, she, she still she, hates you. Yeah, she still hates you. Because <laughs> you didn't she, get her she, a she happy meal. Me, she just says, Papa, I want Mama. And I just go, oh, okay. That doesn't well. mean she hates you. Yeah, Every but, child no, wants she, their mother. She doesn't want me to put her to bed. She doesn't want me to do things with her. The moment oh. my wife appears, suddenly... Papa becomes transparent. Oh, oh. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of dads out there that feel the same way. You know, you know, Let's Julian, talk about it one of these days. I think, I Let's think therapize, one of the things, Julian. One of the things you need to do, Julian, Wait, uh, is going back, uh? when Wait, your daughter on. is on. with your wife, keep your eyes open. Okay. See what she's doing. What is she doing? Okay, hold okay, on. Okay, Evelyn, now you yep. see you do traffic. Uh? 1FM 91.3 Traffic. Okay, we've got the usual delays across the expressways. That much we do know. No sign of any major problems at this point in time. So that is really good news for you. Please stay within the speed limit. Have everyone buckled up. Be safe as you drive today. Good morning, Singapore. We are counting down the greatest hits of all time while we speak to Dr. Geraldine Tan and uh, Julian Cole. You just heard Vanessa Williams save the best for last song, 398, the beautiful Vanessa Williams. Remember Vanessa Williams? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. She's beauty queen as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Coming up, song 397. But uh, right now, we go back to uh, Jerry and Julian. We're just talking about the uh, uh, cookies, the Honest Cookie from um, Samaritans of Singapore. And if you guys want to get those cookies, you can go to the Samaritans of Singapore website. I think it's uh, samaritansofsingapore.com.sg. No, no, it's sos.org.sg. Close enough. Easier. SOS, what again? SOS. SOS.org. .org.sg. Dot .org.sg. Dot yes. Okay. Hey, Good of- try, though. Good try. <laughs> <laughs> just try. whacking try. it on here. I think in <laughs> life, sometimes <laughs> I, just, I, just I just whack too much. <laughs> you do. You like- do. So, Dr. Jerry, any final words? Yes. So, we were talking about having honest conversations, and I want to just have everybody think about it. You know, the word listen and the word silent are both made up of the same letters. So oh, think wow. about it. Oh. Yes, yes. So sometimes in order to listen, we have to be silent in our actions, silent in our words, mm. and silent in our hearts. Right. So we can listen. Yeah. That's leaving lovely. you with Julian and I shall take my leave <laughs> thank you Julian for coming on and opening you know opening that that fortune cookie the honest cookie for all of us thank you so I'm much. very happy to I'm very happy thank you so much for sending the cookies over yesterday I really appreciate it I think it's a very uh, it's a really really cool conversation starter yeah. yeah, and you know what? You should give you should give your your two year old daughter or three year old daughter <laughs> three right three a right. cookie yep. a cookie. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 it's here now. We, we have the package. It. Oh, it's here. <laughs> it's, okay, bye bye. We put it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no time you, you know what's going to happen now, Angel. They're yeah, going to finish all the. We're cookies. never we're never getting out cookies. So oh, no. I'm going to eat yeah. all the cookies. Okay. I'm a bit hungry we'll right now. Open it and uh, take photos and send it to you. 
Okay. And, you know, Jerry, you mentioned early on about, you know, listen and keeping silent and all that. You know, most of the time we want to, to keep silent, but... It's hard for us to keep silent. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have any content on radio if we did. No, 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 no. When you are having an honest conversation mm. with someone, not when you're doing your job. Oh, I see. <laughs> Ooh, look at the amount of Throw one to me. There. Throw one over to me. Okay, oh, hey. okay right. Glenn, quickly open it up okay, before Jerry yeah. goes. Oh, let's good. see what the last question is. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what this is. Quickly. What's the last statement? Quickly. <sighs> oh. Why you I'm like Julian. I can't resist. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Right. Oh no, he can't see. We're on air. <laughs> okay. Um, when was the last time you grieved? Oh, oh, wow. oh wow. 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 Not too long oh, ago, a, actually. That's a tough one. You have to end with such a heavy question, right? Right. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to, like, you know, cry oh, or whatever. Mm. But yeah, oh. twice, man, this year at the start when my dad passed. Yeah. And then yep. just, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, when a good friend, Chris Hill, passed on. Mm. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I'm okay now. Okay. Yay, and More you're having cookies. cookies. There you go. Oh, More cookies. hey, these cookies <laughs> are good, you know. You know, and they're not too sweet or so. Ah. I like that. <laughs> Can yes. my puppy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jerry. You <laughs> take you care of yourself, week. okay? Bye, Jerry. Yes, I will. See you all next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so we're with uh, Julian Cole right now. Julian, we're going to talk about um, not uh, being around trucks today. Yep. <laughs> no, not not being around them. Being careful while around them. No, Keep just staying them. the hell away from them. Keep it's, it's, nice. inevitable. it's inevitable. I mean, with all the constructions going on right now mm. around our island, it's just big, big heavy trucks are all over the place. Uh, it's always good to play safe, I suppose, because there were a couple of times myself mm. when I was driving the Austin Mini, um, they just couldn't see me. And I can't, <laughs> I can't so blame small. them. I, can't, I don't blame them at all. I don't blame yeah. them at all. So, mm. And you have to understand, I spoke to a few of them actually, and they actually said um, they actually get money based on how many trips they do. It's oh. per trip. They're paid per wow. trip. So they tend to rush from point to yeah. point. And when you rush in such a big, humongous vehicle, accidents happen. They're driving so, so fast. You know, sometimes I, I, I look at them speed down the, the expressway. Yep. Yeah. You know, and I, yeah. I, 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 I get worried, you know. Because they're that's just a going at it, man. They're just going have. at it. Yeah, that's, that's terrible yeah. that they they're, yep. they're being paid and there have it. been accidents. Yes, that's for the thing. sure. There have yeah. been accidents. Okay, we'll continue to talk to Julian Ko, editor of SG Karma Live on the Big Show TV. Meantime, we continue with One FM ninety one point three's greatest hits of all time countdown. Here's the Escape Club. I'll be there. Song three hundred and ninety seven on the countdown. And we're back. Wow, we're in the three hundreds already. Fantastic! Mm. Hey, yep. Give me uh, angels cookies. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, I told oh, you angels. angels. I told you. We no, I know, but then cookies. he's going to say that that's my question. Thank you. Yeah, that's your question. <laughs> <you're talking. laughs> I'm supposed to pick it. <laughs> we, we continue to talk to uh, uh, Julian, but uh, this is yeah, just... distracted slightly. <laughs> This it's actually it's actually quite nice. I have to be honest. I like fortune cookies. Nice. I love fortune cookies. Fortune that's cookies are awesome. yummy. They're the best thing. Okay, what's the what's the statement? Before Julian continues with trucks. Yeah, trucks. So, uh, okay, quite fun. Okay. What's a tough conversation people should have? Uh, this is a very angel question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> What's a tough conversation people should What's have? A- the the one the, the the tough conversation people should have is the one conversation they don't want to have. Whatever that might be. How about this? You know, should the people who are making the rules for all these truck drivers, right, to get paid based on the trips, should they all be jailed? <laughs> they shouldn't be jailed, but they should really rethink it. Okay. Yeah, really, they need, really rethink, rethink it. They yeah. Need, so they need to rethink this. They really yes, need to rethink but, but, it. Yeah. But how do you how do you rethink this? If you don't do a per trip thing, what are you gonna do? You're gonna employ Hours, these truck huh? drivers? No, you do it. You do it. Yeah, per hour. Uh, no. in in hour. But ours is also. Oh. No, I won't do it per yeah. hour as a businessman because then the truck driver will slow down. We'll do one trip per yeah, hour. Which is or something. Good one. He'll slow down. More mm. hours will be used to transport the same amount of. Or you can. Whatever. I mean, there's so much technology available. Maybe maybe have some sort of tracking system. You so know, funny, where yeah. you can, a GPS where you can track where the trucks are and they are driving within that certain um, uh, speed limit. 
but they're also not sitting by the side of the road having a cigarette having their lunch you know like whiling the time away while they're driving those trucks but so, what What's do you wrong think with that? julian yeah what do you think julian uh, i think you need something bad to happen before something really changes that's usually the case in all honesty um mm. but if i had it my way mm. uh no i will not pay them per trip I'll actually pay them per hour, but I'll give them a quota. So I'll mm. tell them, say, mm. if you hit maybe 30 trips in the first 20 days, I'll give you an extra, I don't know, 100 bucks. A realistic day. trip yes. based on speed and yep. all that, right? Yep. Mm. So so you don't really have to rush. You don't yeah. really have to go crazy about it. Maybe for, at the start, you'll, 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 you'll rush because you want to hit the target, right? But mm. once you hit it, you'll, you'll tend to slow down just a little bit. At least when you slow down, you tend to be a little bit more relaxed on the road. Mm. You still mm. get paid accordingly. I mean, I'm not cheating you. I'm not cheating you of the time. Um, yeah, you still get paid, and but I mean, I don't think people generally. I don't think businessmen would do that. that that's why I'm not a businessman. Yeah. I don't know, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah, but that's it's yeah, it's, it's it's so awful. Generally, I mean, businessmen, uh, you know, kind of ruthless and, True. and yeah, you know, they don't think yeah, heartless and yeah. you know, some you know, crooks even. <laughs> Yes, uh, no, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's they how don't you make think money, of the lives right? and safety. If you're a businessman and you're poor right now, chances are you're you're very honest. You're an yeah. honest yeah. businessman. It's true. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. true. And you should pat yourself on your back and go like, you know, you're not resorting <laughs> to what some of the other people are resorting <laughs> to. Mm. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So hey, but I have to you. say, man, I've got I've got friends who are just cut out to be businessmen. So they continued the businesses from their dads. Mm. They're doing mm. very well. Mm. Um, but when I talk to them, it's a different, we are on a different level. I mean, when I have conversations with them, their mind, the way they think, the way they make decisions, the way they speak, mm. it's completely different, man. I mean, to them yeah. it's okay, so I'm giving you something, what do I get back in return? Yeah, mm, and I'm mm. like, you're not getting anything back. <laughs> what are you talking about? And to them, they're, they're always everything is a business yeah, transaction. Everything, yeah. everything is a transaction, and mm. I just I, mm. it annoys me, man. Yeah, it really annoys me. <laughs> Sometimes you need to learn to learn to cut it off. So, yeah, Julian, I mean, I mean, not just the speed limit that they have. What is the general uh, sort of rule of thumb if you're driving near near trucks? Like, I think how far too, away should we stay? And you know. Um, as far away as possible. <laughs> I mean, because honestly, because if I were to tell you, you know, stay like four lengths, four or five mm. car lengths, it will never happen. I mean, in Singapore, you'll never see that happening. Um, but at least stay far away enough so that they can see you signal. Yeah. At least that. So mm. you're talking about good three to four, three, depending on the car. I mean, three to four car lengths would be uh, very safe. Um, signal early. Because mm. you know, people have the habit of turning and signaling at the same time. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Um, and you have to understand trucks with this size, they're not as agile as a hatchback or a sedan. They don't have time to swerve in and out just mm. to avoid you. They will just come straight for you. Yeah. Mm. So give them enough time so that at least they can take the necessary precautions. To react. Yeah, so because that. Be- because no, there, I mean, there are several. Sorry, there are several things that you can do, but I think the most important is still the signal and just stay away from the blind spot. Yeah, can we horn? I, yes, yes. <laughs> you should actually. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know, if you think about it, right? I mean, these. I I, I just want to say this because many people hate on them, right? Including myself, you know. <laughs> but think about these drivers. You know, they are perhaps one of the most skillful drivers around mm. driving yeah. such a huge yeah. you know monstrosity you know like that you know yeah. they are they are looking out as best as they can you know for the people who are next to them and all that but imagine if you're on a bike you know or you're yeah. a tiny car for example mm. you know it's going to be hard for them to see you mm. so so i think um you know just like i always say we need to look out for you know, bicyclists on the roads, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, the bicycles on the roads. I think, uh, you know, the we need to look out for ourselves when it comes to these trucks and just yeah. assume that they can't see us. And as Julian said, stay, you know, stay back, stay as far back uh, yeah. as possible. Yeah, because the, the, I mean, trucks are built so differently uh, from cars, right? They don't have those fronts, the, the front bonnets like cars do. They don't stick out in the front. So also um, with the size and their width and their length, their blind spots must be very different from uh, regular cars as well. 
I would assume so. Yes. I and I honestly I never thought about that until it happened to me. Mm. Remember I was telling you guys that when I was driving the Austin Mini and I mm. almost got crushed. Um <laughs> and Austin Mini being Austin Mini, the horn is at the side so when I ho- he couldn't hear the horn either. Yeah, mm. because the horn's too soft. Yes, exactly. So when I sped up beside him because I wanted to stare at him, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he actually he actually apologized to me and he said he couldn't see. He he just told me I You're can't too tiny. see. Mm. Yeah, so then I then I realized, I mean like it's maybe it's not him. Maybe it's me. Mm. Maybe I was in a wrong spot. I was just not um Oh, where I was, I wasn't wary enough. To me, it's all about me, me, me. You know, I'm on the road. I should be, you know. But I, I forgot that there were there are also people like them driving these huge trucks, right. mm. who are trying their best, but they can't seem. Look, man, they're making trips like I don't know. I, I God knows how many trips they're making a day. By the time they mm. reach their sixth, seventh trip. I don't think their their concentration is 100% anymore. It's going to drop all the yeah, way like tired. 60, 70% at mm. best and they're just going to just I'm just going to do it for the sake of money. I don't care anymore. I'm just tired. Yeah. Um and when that happens, concentration level drops. I mean, accidents seconds. happen. That's when it happens. So yeah. mm. we have to be very careful. We can't exactly blame them as well. Okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. think it's like a class uh, class 2 license holders. No, no I think it's a, I think it's a class 4 or 5. Class four, D. 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 Or is it? B. D. B. D. D. That's, 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 that's like a completely okay. different thing yeah. altogether for me. Okay, stand by. We're going back on air. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla ice, ice, baby. Um, he is at 396 on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. A reminder once again, if you want to guess... Uh, the number one song for 2021. Uh, you can do so. I think your last day is on Thursday. Yes. Because mm-hmm. we're yes. counting down the top 10 songs uh, uh, from 8 a.m. Or rather, 7.45 a.m. on Friday morning, okay? So there's still time for you to guess the number one song for this year. And if you guess it correctly, you might be walking away with a three-day, two-night weekday staycation at the Park Royal Collection Pickering's Collection Lifestyle Junior Suite with full club privileges, including afternoon tea and evening cocktails plus a weekday buffet dinner at Lime Restaurant for four. Um, this is worth around $1,700. So you want to log on to 1FM.SG. But right now we continue to talk to Julian Co, editor of SG Karma. We're talking about um, how far we should stay away from trucks and all that. Um, uh, and, um, you know, our conclusion at this point is that uh, we need to look out for you know the trucks yes. because sometimes they may yeah. not necessarily be able to see you see in us, the blind yeah. spot so uh, mm. look after yourself protect mm. yourself at all times yes you don't uh, the, the, it's not a competition man you don't have to <laughs> win them or in, in any way mm. just give way to them because like i said before it's sometimes it's not about them sometimes it's us yeah, yeah. yeah. um they don't mean to To, to be to be careless I think it's just because of the size of the trucks they can't be looking out for you all the time you you have to look out for yourself on the roads you have to be responsible for your own life and to do that several things against keep keep a good distance from them three to four car lengths would be very good so that at least they can see you signal and when you signal give them enough time to react and of mm. course stay away from their blind spots yeah I, I, you know, both Glenn and, and, and Julian have brought this up. This whole idea of, of we have to look out for them. And I think, I think as much as we've got so many things to concentrate on on the roads, I think people are not always aware of road conditions. Because what, they're what stupid, do I mean by, They're no, stupid. You know, <laughs> no, let me, let me explain what I mean. <clears throat> Trucks would normally stay in the left lane. Mm-hmm. And we're driving down a highway. If you're conscious of the kind of traffic around you, you will know when that truck's going to come out to go past slower and go back in. Mm-hmm. You'll be able to preempt his his moves, which will help keep you safe. That's what I mean by we're not always aware of, of road conditions. It, mm. it, it's something that I think more people should practice because I've seen it because now I take I take uh, a yeah. private hire and I take cabs. And, and sometimes... 
they're not just aware they're not aware of what's happening around them because they don't have a good sense you see some people i mean yeah. julian i mean let's let's face it okay some people just have uh, the ability right when they go on the mm. roads to be able to sense things but some people have some people are senseless <laughs> some they, people yeah. don't belong on the roads yes they really, don't they, they don't. think just because yeah. they're in their their cars they are safe mm. yeah you know mm. but they and they don't care about anybody else you know they're yeah. not yeah. defensive drivers mm. I, i'm a yeah. defensive driver I, i'm sure you are too julian yep. in in many yep. ways and i think mm. we should have more defensive drivers on the roads not to the point where you hog the roads but at least you have that sense that something might happen you know try mm. and Try and look ahead, you know, three, four, five steps yes. ahead, you know, to yes. yeah. and and yes, and be exactly. aware of your surroundings. It's a whole strategy, right? Driving. I mean, you need to plan ahead. You need to plan your route. You need to see what's ahead of you, know what's coming up, and 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 just pay attention to any dangers that might be around you, mm. and be ready for it. I think you really just need to concentrate when you drive. Yes, focus. Yeah, right. You just need mm. to. You just need to. Yeah. Put your phone aside. Don't meddle <laughs> with them. Right, yeah. and yeah. then just <laughs> stay focused. Just yeah. drive and. Keep a lookout because driving you can't just look straight. You got to look on your left, your right. You yeah. got to look at the rearview mirror. You can't just be looking straight. You got to be wary about the situation around you. Mm. And I think that's what people like. They they don't want to be. They don't want to know what's going on around them. They just want to know what's going on in front of them, and that's just not enough. Yeah. And inside the car, which completely doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Exactly yeah. And I think this is a very, very good reminder today because uh, the people who are listening to us, you know, some some people just need to be reminded from time to time. And yep. we could possibly have, um, you know, uh, uh, save someone from from an incident on the road mm. today yes. As, as, yes. as a result of this reminder. Yes, yes. I hope. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. I hope. And that's what we're here for. And the big show tv i mean we want to educate and perhaps entertain if we can but yeah. in, in this case yes do keep a distance be patient it's, it's not a competition like i say i mean if if they want to cut in front of you just just let them do it i mean it's it's okay i rather they cut than you lose your life yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely yeah Good okay. true, true. we'll continue yeah. to talk to julian co editor of sg karmat uh, live on facebook that's uh, the 1fm 91.3 facebook page the big show tv but right now um stand by because coming up very soon we've got song 395 as we continue to count down to the greatest hit of all time uh but uh, standing by adrian abraham with headline news and sports Nine, nine. Angel? Yeah, I have a question, Julian. I mean, usually yep. when it comes to, to big trucks or even lorries, I if, if I happen to be driving behind them, I move aside because more often than not, they're packed with whether it's logs, metal mm, rods, yep. people, yep. sand. You know, you don't want your yep. car to get damaged. And I have seen a couple of times where these... Uh, Metal rods and logs are not strapped down properly. Yeah. Ooh. There was one day that I wanted to make a complaint. Yes. I'm not I'm not one to to complain, but I wanted to make a complaint only because it's so dangerous that if he jammed his brakes, those yes. would go flying into the cars behind them, right? Yep. So who do you get in touch with when it comes to something like this? There must be an app where you can complain, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm sure there is. Um, I tried I, to look it up, but I couldn't I'm find it. The sure closest thing was like a police report, and I'm like, I'm I don't want to sure make a police report. You can do it like a, the one service <laughs> app that you have that you can do. I looked at that as there. well, and it didn't really have anything for the roads. Um, no, you, no. you might be able to, to do it via LTA. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not even sure if LTA does this. I'm not even. Mm. Just now, is that mm. the fastest? The fastest one is to take a photo and uh, upload it yeah. on yeah. Facebook. Well, that's <laughs> right? Yeah. The no, I didn't want to do that either. It's like, oh my goodness. What about that vigilante? Uh, oh, the SG, SG Vigilante. Vigilante. Yeah. SG, Ro- SG few, Road few. Vigilante. There's a few out there. Yeah, but I mean, mm. I want. I didn't exactly want to put my name to it and like yeah. put my ID number in a police app and you know make a report because yep. it it says that it scares you, right? It says, uh, "Would you be willing to testify in court?" And on, I'm like, yep. "No, <laughs> like why?" I, I I I genuinely don't have the you answer don't know? to that. Okay, I, I'm not too sure if you can do it via LTE. I'm not sure if you can do it because if just for this to do it via traffic police or just the police it's, it's it feels like a little too serious for it it feels like this is too much hassle to do it yeah but something like that i mean honestly if the guy had had had, had to break suddenly yeah. those rods were like 10 meters long you know Final solid rods that would have they were huh final destination the movie yeah they would have yeah. flown into someone's yeah. windscreen and 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 killed someone 
And, but I think that's the thing, right? Um, a lot of them take it for granted because it has never happened before, never happened yet. Yeah. And that's what I just said right at the start of the show. I just said, you know, sometimes it, you just need to wait for something really bad to happen before things start moving. And that's mm. what I really hate. I mm. hate it when they just have to wait for something bad to really happen before they decide... Oh, let's put a traffic light here now, or, or let's put a green arrow here, or let's put the hum here now because an mm. accident finally happened. Mm. Why can't yeah. you do it before? Do it before. There have been so many accidents with foreign workers as well in the backs of trucks, uh, exactly. you know, flying out because they don't have seatbelts and stuff like that. And yes. so many people have, you know, written in and said, why is something not being done? Yeah. And nothing's and being done. No, no, no. Now, now they no, have no. To, to install oh, now? the cage. Yeah. yeah. At the yeah. back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh really? Yeah. Okay, yes. okay, oh. good. I didn't hear about that. Okay, I'm, ju- I'm just wondering, is it. Is it because it's very difficult to do the report? Is it too troublesome? Is it too how for it what the, what for I was what I was trying to do? Yeah, I mean, if you want to do a, if you want to make a complaint, like you know, or if you want to implement like a, a road hum, implement a traffic light, or implement something, to they have to light. go through a committee, and then somebody has to spend money, and yeah. you know, then I'm sure they have to bring it up to the government and complain to, uh, to to Minister Iswaran. <laughs> there you go. Is he in charge Transport. now of, Transport, of that? Minister. Because no, now we have yeah. the one-on-one with Iswaran, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, oh. that's true. Right? That's Lovely. true. Yeah. Maybe someone should should uh, you know go on 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 his show one-on-one with Iswaran. <laughs> there you go, and, and Glenn. You up. can represent us, Glenn. Nah, I don't want to. <laughs> FD, FD and Iswaran Julian, are better yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think Julian. I think, there you go. Julian's the perfect person. Yeah. I'm gonna lose my cool. So I. You are SG like, Kamat oh. after all. Have yeah. a Minister cookie. Iswaran. But it's okay. Which, <laughs> which, yeah, which is why it's it's cool. Because you lose your cool and then Iswaran being the cool guy that he is will cool you down. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you that, that, you know, Minister Iswaran is a cool guy. Yeah. yeah. We should but all just change. have like, you know, a, a sit down session and, and, and talk Chill about out, these days. Yeah. All of us... All of us can have a one-on-one with it. You know, can I, can I? There one on, you because go. then it will be like five, five against one. on one. Yeah, with this Warren. <laughs> I'm sure he can handle it. But at least it still rhymes at the end, lah. Yeah. One with his yeah, Warren. Yeah. Okay. Five on one with his Warren. <laughs> I, thought, on I thought that was. I thought that was a very cool name. Title, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 It, was, it was just very cool. It was done well. Finally, yeah. something done very well. Tasty, <laughs> done. Very tasteful. If only done. we had a radio DJ here on One FM, name is Warren. Then Swaran? it can be one on one with his Warren. <laughs> On 1FM 91.3. Okay, anyway. Thank you so much, Julian, for joining us. Thanks for having me, guys. Enjoy right. your cookies. Yes, like, like, enjoy the cookies and enjoy the rest of the week. Yeah. You too. Give yeah. the cookies yeah. to your daughter. Give your yeah. cookies to your daughter. Yeah. Put a different note in. Say, I love daddy. I, oh. Oh, Say, if you want more children in your life, you need to love that, daddy. Yeah. Don't, forget, don't even get me started on that because every day I bring her lollipop and like biscuits and stuff and I tell her, Say, oh, Papa bought you this and she doesn't really care. She's just do, like, oh, okay. Do you know what? Maybe her language of love is different. Yeah. Different, different people Maybe. have different languages of love. Money, so maybe money. hers is not gifts. Money, cash. I just no. said maybe hers just, is not gifts. Julian, <laughs> seriously, just could be watch something your else. Is, yeah, could be something else. I have to. She, but I have to say, my wife is a way more patient than I am. She, there you go. There maybe it's the patient thing. Yeah. Listen to FD. FD has a solution. FD, what's your solution? Basically, all you need to do is sit back, keep your eyes open. How does your wife treat, treat your daughter? Mm. Not what does she give her. Mm. How does she treat her? Mm. That's what you need to say. And then tune minute. in every Thursday to learn some breathing techniques with you. <laughs> <laughs> I see just spread rumors about your wife. Keep calm. <laughs> oh my gosh, so terrible. Yeah, then turn no, that's not but but but, okay. but Julian, don't worry. Your child is three. You don't need the breathing technique so much. You need it when she's 16. <laughs> there you oh, go. <laughs> These days it starts younger, I think. 13. Yeah, that's you true, only yeah. have 10 years to go. I can foresee <laughs> calamity. You know what I mean? I can foresee that. <laughs> Think positive. Be positive. Yeah. Yeah. Support Blackpink. <laughs> yeah. Hello, ladies. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. I shall update you guys next week. Weekly. Again. We need weekly updates yes. on how you're yeah. doing. All right. We'll do. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. All, All right. You too. Guys. Take care. Ciao. Bye-bye. And Bye. that was the editor of SG Karmat, Julian Co. For all your motoring needs, please uh, check out their <laughs> website, okay? SGKarmat.com.sg. All right. All right. Let's say goodbye. Bye. Share the video. Bye.